Well, I'm in the little border town of Lordsburg, New Mexico right now. Actually thinking about taking a little dip in that pool down there. But I do start hiking the CDT tomorrow, so before I go for a swim, I'm going to record my obligatory gear video for you guys. Everybody loves a gear video. So here's everything that I will be bringing with me on a six month long hike. Um, I'll start with the big four, obviously. My pack is a, uh, it's a Six Moon Designs pack wrapping pack. It's untested. I've actually never hiked with this before, but I think it's going to do just fine for me. It's similar to my last pack, which I absolutely love. So pretty excited about this one. And then my sleep system. Um, I'm usually a hammock guy, but there aren't a lot of trees where I'm going. So I'm trying out a tarp tent, uh, what's it called, Stratospire, which is just a trekking pole tent. It's lightweight, two person. So I'll let you know how that goes. I'm not excited about sleeping on the ground every night, but I also need trees to pitch my hammock. So there you go. And then just a Tyvek ground cloth that goes underneath my tent or my hammock or whatever. Um, my bag is a Big Agnes uh, 15 degree down bag. I think it's 15 15 or 20 pretty sure it's 15 and then i've got a sea to summit what is this ether light this is an inflatable air pad that just nests inside of my sleeping bag love that system uh food storage i just have a dyneema you know bear bag you can hang this in a tree pretty easy it's already got six days of food up in there and then i do still uh cook and drink hot coffee in the morning so i've got a little cook pot uh, a little stove, fuel obviously, titanium long spoon, and uh, bags to put it all in. Water storage, I'm bringing with me a uh, two liter water bladder and a smart water bottle to complement. And I'll be filtering my water with a Sawyer squeeze, everybody uses these. And then a couple of little bits and pieces to go with it. And then uh, here I've got my ditty bag that contains all this crazy random stuff. Obviously I got a first aid kit. Not much in there, but it's all I really need. A uh, patch kit. Hopefully I don't need to use much of this stuff, but I have it in case. And then a poop kit, which is, you know, just toothpaste, toilet paper, toothbrush, hand sanitizer, floss. Pretty standard stuff. Uh, I am starting this trail with a lot of creams because I'm in the desert, you know. So I've got sunscreen, I've got lip balm, sunscreen, anti-chafing cream, and diaper rash cream. It's a lot of stuff, but I'm gonna go through it pretty, frat, pretty fast, I think. And then some eye drops as well, wink, wink. And then uh, instead of uh, carrying a traditional Swiss Army knife, I'm trying out this little card, this little Victoria Knox card Swiss Army knife. So that should be all I need as far as, you know, cutlery goes. And then a wallet, you know, just a wallet liner. It's got, you know, driver's license, debit card, crypto card, and another knife in there. Uh, I like a Sharpie, you know, just in case I need to tag my location. And then uh, my luxury items are pretty much just like smoking stuff. I've got a little silicone pipe and a little jar of hash, uh, bubble hash to go with that pipe. Uh, rolling tobacco and rolling papers to go with the tobacco and then obviously I still bring my my pirate flag with me everywhere that I go you guys know that and then my last luxury item is a umbrella a sun and rain umbrella which I'm really excited about I've been umbrella curious for a long time so I'm uh, I'm excited about actually using one so that's all my heavy stuff right there and then my electronics are, got a lot of electronics, unfortunately. You know, charger and cords to go with the charger. I've got a black diamond headlamp with a rechargeable battery. An enormous 2000 milliamp hour charging block. I think this is Anchor, probably. Yeah, Anchor. And then my Garmin InReach GPS device. Everybody's got these these days. And I've got a bunch of different earbuds. I've got uh, Bluetooth earbuds, USB earbuds, and regular earbuds, and an adapter. So, you know, 
you never know what could happen. I've got a lot of different ways to listen to music and podcasts. And then some random stuff. I've got a little USB flash drive in here and some plugs for my cables and whatnot. So that's all my electronics. And then my clothing. This is all the stuff I'll be wearing. Uh, the stuff that I wear when I'm hiking is my kilt. You guys all know that. I'm still bringing my kilt with me. I got a long sleeve, a uh, La Sportiva, a uh, sun shirt, and then a little sun hat and shades and a watch. So I'll be wearing this stuff on my person all day, every day. And then for sleeping, I've just got standard wool, you know, long johns. Everybody also hikes with these. Uh, I've got one buff and one bandana. Uh, a face mask and a face bug net for when the mosquitoes get bad. I've got a pair of wind pants right here. I'm excited about these. And wind gloves. And then a rain jacket, rain kilt, a little fleece cap, and my puffy. I think this is also Big Agnes. Yeah, Big Agnes. And then my socks, I just bring uh, two pairs of hiking socks, one pair of sleeping socks, and some synthetic booties. No more cold feet. How about that? How about that? So that's it, you guys. This is, this is everything I'm walking with. What I'll be walking on are my La Sportiva trail runners. I've been using these for more than 10 years, and I love them. And then I still have my Crocs for camp shoes, Mary Janes, and my trekking poles. And that is everything I'll be using for the next six months and or 3,000 miles. This is actually happening.